Welcome back to the Hard West. We are in, epi uh, in episode number four of season three, or uh, I think it is, uh, it is actually scenario three and episode four. We have tracked down almost all of the cipher pieces, leading to the shaman as to be the last member with a cipher piece. We got a team of um, of volunteers, two of our current team members. Uh, expendable um, characters and Grand Inquisitor Cervantes is still um, hunting for the last piece. So Cervantes enraged stabbed the man a dozen of times uh, and tore the cipher piece out of his chest. When he emerged from the tippy Isa was gone. But what did that matter? The last cipher piece was in his possession. It was his time to pay Rom a wizard. And then the lair. He's somewhat losing all of his party members. While calm during the er, uh, earlier meetings, Rom was visibly agitated uh, when Cervantes returned to tell him the cipher was now complete. Now they could use it to locate the sanctuary, acquire the meteor and kill the lair, its protector. For reasons only known to himself, the normally dexterous Rom tipped over his cauldron before they left to search for the sanctuary. There we go. We got a new character. Oh my god, nice. Heavy pepper box. That's a good weapon. So... Let me open the cards. Why am I even equipping all of those guys when they are still when they are continuously leaving the party and then coming back in and then leaving again and then coming back in? That is discouraging to say the least. So, ten of hearts, golden shot, ricochet shot, yes, and I think we're going to take like since he already has so much health. We're probably taking the aim plus movement. Yeah, we're going to go up to 70 aim with that. That's a good idea. Uh, plus 30 maximum luck. That's fine. Which leaves open some hit point items, uh, some hit point options for this young gentleman. Having six hit points and the option to trade hit points with others helps. Um, getting a seventh hit point even helps more, so he's not as fragile. I think everyone else has seven or more hit points, so having him on the same kind of level, yeah, seven, eight, seven, seven, nine, perfect. Having him on the same level definitely helps, and we can either get more defense and a passive healing or we get more luck which i think we're going to go for or we're gonna go for shoot all enemies inside we already have an ability that requires luck so i would say we're just getting the passive luck or even better let's use the defense i like that idea because then he's just regenerating and is almost unkillable. So we probably want to look at the weapons again because we definitely do not ha uh, haven't loaded the best weapon so far. Cervantes is our main character, should get the best weapon, and this is probably this here. Damage versus half cover, three for full cover, yeah, that's just a 
That's just a very, very strong weapon. Only uh, disadvantage is the minus 10 aim. The rest is actually pretty good. Having all of these options, let's give them Mandrake Roots. And that should be... that should be it. Everyone has a healing, healing elixir. Good. Attack the san uh, Sanctuary. It's going to be our our task now. It's the last fight. The magnificent villa was fortified and would require a great force to capture. It didn't look um, like a hiding place for a, mis a mystical object, but according to the cipher this was the fabled sanctuary of Delair um, that Delair had built. They were certain Delair was here and this time without the protection of his clairvoyant. That did not mean that he was the force to be reckoned with. Um, if they were uh, to make the last preparation, now was the time. Uh, one last thing that I'd like to see is what kind of trinkets are we using? The boots for extra damage. Yes, boots for extra damage. This here is a shit trinket. So let's go to the Fate Trader real quick. And I think we're going to go for another damage trinket. Yeah, the 10 aim plus 12 side, I don't know. I mean, two damage just seems to be way better than that. I mean, even if uh, even if he hits a little bit less, the two extra damage, specifically against targets without cover, make a huge difference. I mean, his aim is really bad. I I give him that. So having something like this weapon here that gives them extra aim is helpful. So maybe we're, we'll give him the Volcano Pistol and then the Doomsday Watch, which means at least with his Scope Custom Rifle. You know what? Let's do it this way around. He's just a frontliner because he can also use HP um, trans uh, transformation. Let's go, baby. Proceed to combat. Here we go. Solomon Lair had been a man of science in most of his life, but for the first time in decades he turned to God as he prepared his last stand. I'm feeling uh, for Solomon. I don't know why he uh, started to act all crazy and built this the cult. Grand Inquisitor reached his destination. The end of a very long trail. The Sanctuary. Here was where Solomon Delir would make his last stand. Kill all of the defenders. Alrighty.
So we're moving into cover. Seeing that there are a lot of targets. We're starting with a good old dodge. Let's make sure we're not getting any uh, flanks. Let's put our sniper into position. And let's put chip into position. Starting off with a good old golden bullet. Not sure how many hit points these guys have. The outsiders here seem to have almost. 10 hit uh, all of all of them seem to have almost 10 hit points before we use the golden bullet let's maybe start with just softening them up a little bit There we go. So many enemies. One, two. There is a chance that someone's coming from this side. I need to be a bit careful. Another 10 hit points. Oh my gosh. All right, let's try to get down, uh, get this guy down. That's one down. Sniper changes his weapon. Kill. Ah, almost. Well, so far we haven't taken any damage. A bit damage. So slowly but surely we can move up, but I don't know about the angles. I would like to go here. Problem is that these guys will 
might be able to flank us if we move in here. They most likely will be able to flank us. Alright, that's one down. I don't want to try it unholy power now. I don't I don't know what it what exactly the effect is going to look like. So no, we're not we're not using the golden bullet but yet. Okay, let me think. Um, let's move up to here. And at the end of the day, let's move up to here next turn and kill the, the one inside of the inside of the building. Almost down. We have a ricochet. Like a cheap way to get a bullet in. We need to eliminate the guy upstairs. There is no way around it. First things first though.
getting rid of his luck and now switching the weapon it's actually time to kill the guy upstairs golden bullet there we go So since there is no more enemy upstairs, and since this guy here is out of luck, we can move into the open without getting shot and kill him. So, Cervantes, I think we can use the shotgun for a spray. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Reloading our guns and we're taking this side. So far, this here seems to be very much okay. Like, it's not difficult. I would have guessed that the last mission would have been more difficult. Time for a reload. Standing in the open? No. This is Solomon? Oh my god, buddy. I really don't want to kill you. Okay, so we're moving in. We already killed most, if not all, of his defenders. I forgot to reload, that's a newbie mistake.
There we go. All right, everyone's in full cover. They even put the signal bell like right there to almost bypass all of that cover. Gosh. So moving up just to have more flanking distance and yeah I mean as for Solomon we unfortunately currently don't have enough luck but we'll get to him just in a second go draining his luck it just gave our sniper 70 luck that was a mistake disappointed I wanted him to survive there is the meteor by the way gosh we killed our own character There we go, one more guardian. I think then we're done. So we're reloading and 
taking a shot. sanctuary were no longer among the living it was time for the inquisitor and his followers to gather at the meteor and begin the ritual uh. in position around the meteor they began to chant their infernal verses the sound of an approaching mob broke their concentration who would dare interfere Sister Rosa led the righteous multitude, determined to make amends for what she had done. Cervantes knew the ritual could be quickened by igniting the skull torches in the garden. Okay, so we're being ambushed. At least from down there. Luckily for us, we have a couple of fast characters. risky to move here because I don't know if there are going to be enemies. Let's position ourselves here. So, did I understand that correct? We could just finish the ritual by simply lighting up all of the torches and that's it. Because that sounds somewhat trivial. Okay, so now we only need to survive three turns. Gotcha. So let's move into full cover. That's a very bad position, by the way. I might just have lost the mission. I wanted to get in close 
to actually use dodge. Luckily for me, it still worked out. So, how about we're still eating this healing elixir? Okay, so the only thing that we actually need to do is we need to survive here, right? Right. Easy. And let's position ourselves here. Okay, so we got ourselves the dodge chance. Which allows us now to flank. think that this is supposed to be a survival we could easily take it uh, take each of them on I mean we still got more than enough damage for them gave Cervantes a feeling of perverse satisfaction. <laughs> <laughs> this guy is so dark. A blast from the meteor could be heard for hundreds of miles. It melted off Raum's flesh to reveal its true form. An abomination. A demon.
I think we're just switching gears a little bit and moving all over here. That'll give us a second person who can flank. By the way, I love I love it when we're having high mobility rates. Why exactly? Oh, got you. We're now a demon, uh, so we got rid of our wonderful um, of our wonderful sniper form, and instead we're now choosing like fucked up weapons and 19 hit points. That's the way we're de uh, that's the way we're we're playing the game now, right? Let's kill these two clowns and get over with it. Almost down. There we go. One more down. And one more down. The last remnants of the Order were finally gone, and the Inquisitor's quest was over. Ooh! Very, very dark scenario. That was... Law and Order. And we apparently missed one secret in here, but we finished it on the hardest difficulty. So, very interesting. Here, stay tuned, because the next scenario is going to be a matter of time. On the run from the evil Inquisitor, Cassandra lit out for Mexico. Once there, it would take charisma, an iron will, and a healthy dose of uh, precognition to untangle the lies and deception that surround her. Oh, wow. So, we played Solomon, and then finally got killed by the Inquisitor Fernandez, uh, uh, Cervantes. And now Cassandra would probably bring him down in the middle of Mexico. Wow, that's going to be a, a fun run. I like it. I like it. So let's see what the next scenario has, uh, has uh, to offer for us. Um, if you enjoyed what you've seen, please leave a comment down below and give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much and see you in the next run.